Today we're going to do a video to show you how to change the front tow eye cover. It forms the sort of front splitter on the Range Rover Sport 2010. So this is the standard front bumper. You can tell it, it, it's got this funny shape where the fog lights go in and no removable fog bezels. Yeah, it's a bit sunny today. First time in a long time. Right, so you can change it. We'll show you how to take it, um, take it off. Um, you can use a key or a coin. We got a fine two pence piece. Other currencies are available. Right, so you've got four of these little quarter turn screws underneath here. And um, these, so you, they should all be facing across. And then when you turn them and they're facing in the direction the car goes, you can pull them out then. Get them all straight. I've got some loose here. I've got some. Right. So they, they don't. That's the ones that we've got. A square head to them on. Oh, so if I have to give them a bit of a pull, you give them a bit of a pull, they dangle down. So you give them a little bit of a pull, it shouldn't fall out. That's it. Right, and when they're all dangling down, you can just slide this backwards, okay? And what it exposes is this recovery hook here. So when you're getting recovered or towed out, that's what you want to be going on. So let's just have a look at this panel. So. There you go, so it's got there, these are the four clips. Oh, sound a bit. And if you look what they're like, they're sort of like a funny shape. There's two types they do on Land Rovers. Some of them are shaped like a sort of spade or a shovel. These are sort of a bit like an anchor, they're a little bit squarer. Um, so that's those. These often get taken off and not put back on, so we have got these on the website, but today... You leave them at the side of the road when you're getting recovered covered, or something yes, like that. the last that. thing on you're worried about. But they also get damaged because where they are. So they often get cracked or chipped on curbs and stuff. Right, we've got this new super car carbon effect one. I've got my hands dirty, look at that. Right, <clears throat> so this one here has got this sort of carbon fiber effect. Um, it's just a sort of printed paint finish, but it does look pretty good. Um, so we're going to put this one on here. Do we need to reinstall the clips first? Is that easier? Yeah, that's probably going to be easier. That's the way they... Because they, yeah, they sort of... So let's have a look. So they've got this sort of offset square pattern. So let's have a look. When we put them in... Yeah, so they... But then they don't fall out. Yeah, so once you've got them, that is going to be a bit easier. Thoughtful of you, Ian, with me on my back there, lying in the, on the wet bit of ground. I'll try. Right. There we go. So yeah, get that. Now we're in the same boat as when we when we took it off. So you got you got these little tongues at the top here. These what? That one, that one, that one. So they they locate at the top. There we go. It's fighting me a little bit. Get one in at this end, right? So they yeah, they need to be straight. That's it. The direction of travel of the vehicle they need to be. That's it. They'll go in and then turn them sideways. They're like a two-part locating. Yeah. I'm just trying to recap it. If they go one way better than the other, got which way I turn them out. Yeah, clockwise. So as you look at the end underneath. They go clockwise, so you've got to find where the, there's a little bit of a knack to finding where the hole is on it. Okay, so if you struggle getting it in, you can actually get your fingers up at the back and just push up on that on the top layer just to get the clips in the top. Um, so we just had to do that to get that one in there, it was a bit tight. And then once you've got them in, then you can just tighten clockwise turn. There we go, job done. Now we're going to see the carbon finish, but yeah. 